What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're going to talk about Power Automate and Power Apps. We're going to talk about triggering a flow from Power Apps, a Canvas app, and then we're going to pass some parameters from the Canvas app to the flow. So I'm in Power Apps here, so I'm in Canvas Apps here, and I can... Um, add buttons onto here, I can add fields onto here, uh, and then we will trigger our flow. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, a, couple of, uh, a couple of inputs so that I can use that later on. So I'll put in a text input here, uh, and we will uh, call this text input, uh, input uh, name, for instance, um, and then we'll add another text input, and we will call this... Um, uh, we'll call it age, for instance, uh, just for argument's sake, age. So I've got two text inputs here. They're called text input one and text input two. Um, if you're building production systems, you should be renaming these properly, but I'm just going to show you this quickly and easily so that uh, you know what we're doing. Um, now, the next thing we can do is we can add a button into here. So we'll click button. Uh, and in the button, we'll just add a big thing, big button, and we'll just call it uh, run flow. So you put your text inputs here, and then click the big run flow button, and then try to do something. So like with our other video where we showed you how to do this, if we click on action, um, once we've selected the, the button we want to run it from, we can click on power automate. And then it's going to look up any flows that we've got. And it says, looks like you haven't created any flows with the Power Apps trigger, uh, which is fine. We can create a new flow. Uh, now it's going to take me to the uh, Power, uh, oh, that's interesting. It's going to take me to the Power um, Automate menu. And it's giving me all these template options, which is really cool. I hadn't seen this before. Um, it doesn't use it, it just takes me straight into a flow usually. So I'll click Power Apps button. And we're going to do custom action after that. So we don't need any additional steps from uh, Power Apps here. Um, it will use the outputs from the subsequent steps. So we click on new. And then we can, let's create some compose actions. So compose, it's nice and easy. Uh, and we'll um, put in the compose action. Uh, we'll say um, we'll use some dynamic content. Uh, so we'll ask in the Power App. So compose inputs one, I uh, would say um, um, has entered uh, their name and then, and then we'll ask again in Power Apps, in compose inputs two to put um, is their age. So what's this, what this is gonna do, these, these um, ask in Power Apps um, dynamic content is that I'll actually tell Power Apps that for you to actually run this flow, you need to pass in this first input and then this second input. So you need to tell us these two inputs, and you can put as many as you want. Um, and every time you try to run this, when you create the formula for running this flow, it's actually going to ask you where you are getting this input from. So all this is doing is it's going to trigger from Power Apps and then we're going to write details into this compose step. So we'll call this uh, Power Apps uh, Canvas uh, Flow Get uh, Flow Get Details. So in Power Apps, we're going to request these two inputs to come in to flow as we're creating the formula. So once we're happy with what we want, with what we have here, uh, we can go back to Power Apps. Now it's important to note that you have to specify in your flow that you want um, to ask something in Power Apps. If you don't do it at this stage, then Power Apps will not know that you require another input. So it's always best if you can do this all in one stage and you know what it is you need to ask. So we know we're asking for two pieces of information which relates to those two two fields on the, uh, on the Power App. So once I'm happy with this, I can hit Save. 
and that's going to save this uh, this flow. It says saved. If I go back to Power Apps now, we now have this Power Apps Canvas flow button here. So if I click this, it's saying it's adding, which is great. And then we can see uh, in the background, it's opened up uh, the expression window here. Now the expression window, if I drop here, it's updated the formula. This input at the top says run, and then it's asking me for two parameters. So in my previous video, you would notice that it wasn't asking for parameters. So we could just close that bracket like this and it'd be fine. Now, when I try to do that, it errors because we need to add those inputs in. So it's it's wanting um, the compose input one and compose uh, compose inputs and compose input one. So compose inputs was the name and compose inputs one was the uh, was the age. So if I type into here, we want uh, we want text um, input one, uh, and then I think we put dot text afterwards. Not not power up, power apps expert, and then underneath we're gonna put. Uh, actually, we might not even need text input one dot text. We just might need that, and then we're gonna add uh, text input two, text input two, like that, and that's it. So we're taking the text from input one and the text from input two, and those are the two parameters. Um, and those related to those those that um, like sort of tooltip hint text at the top as to what I need. So that's going to tell you the order you need to specify these things in. So you need to pay attention to that. Once we're happy with that, and once we're all good with that, we can uh, we can test this out. So if I click uh, preview the flow in name, I could type in um, Matt. That's my name and put my age in, which is 31. And then I can click run the flow. We'll see these little dots go across and that ends. And we'll go back to Power Automate and we'll see if uh, if that's run. So we'll go back and we can see there has been a successful action down here. So we see it's triggered from Power Apps, uh, Canvas app. And then it says Matt has entered their name, 31. Uh, I'm sure I had some text after that, uh, but that's not come through. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we can um, we can send parameters from Canvas apps into Power Automate, and you can use those in your flows. So I think this this has got a lot of potential. You can also pass parameters back to uh, Power Apps as well. That I'll show in a different video. Um, so I think this has loads of great um, loads of great potential to be able to automate things and pass things to Power Automate for some automation. So what do you guys think? What do you use these things for at the moment? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.